Well, hi everyone from Australia. It's Mark here, and this is my first video for YouTube. So I hope you enjoy it anyway. Uh, I've been watching lots of you guys, your videos on YouTube for quite a while now, and I thought I'd finally put a few of my own up there. And the first one I'm going to present for you is a mint condition realistic cassette deck. Now, a little bit of background on this deck. I purchased it probably in the late 80s, and it was never used. It was going to be used in conjunction with a little audio studio I was setting up, because I was doing a lot of community radio at the time, and I thought I'd uh, be using it, but I never actually did. It was out of its box once when I bought it, where I tested it, and then I found it today in the garage, um, still locked away in a cupboard, so it's almost as if it was bought yesterday, even though the box has got a little bit shaky. So I thought I'd just have a bit of fun, for my first video and show you its operation as if I just bought it brand new. So what do they what do they normally say when they say that? Um, new old stock. That's right. So let's let's have a look at this and see how we go. Now this will be fun because I have to sort of do everything with one hand while I hold the camera in the other. Hmm. Mm, that's pretty interesting. Now I know how Cassette Master feels when he tries to shoot stuff at the same time as demonstrating. Okay, bit of foam, we'll get rid of that. And look, even the old plastic bag. In Australia, um, all the Tandy stuff was called a uh, realistic. Uh, or should I say, the realistic stuff was <laughs> uh, sold by Tandy. Uh, whereas in America, I think it's called Radio Shack. So, even though the models are probably exactly the same. And this was from an era when um, Candy, or Radio Shack, got fairly well-known well uh, companies to make their equipment. So, let's see if we can get a bit of a closer look here. Mm. Black doesn't show up very well, does it? If, it was, if you could actually see it in person, it's sort of like a... Um, like a gunmetal grey, it's actually quite nice for a tiny little deck, brand new nothing on the back except RCA outputs, that's all you get nothing else, very basic deck, I think it cost me all of about you know, 50 or 60 dollars, brand new uh, but it's it's a good deck because it's got auto reverse and uh, Dolby B noise, noise reduction and uh, tape formulation so you can switch between them Little lights. Anyway, let's plug it in and have a look. Okay, little power there. Let's plug that in. Let's put this down for a minute. There we go. Plugged in. Uh, RCA leads. We all know about those, don't we? Um, I've just got it hooked up to the laptop at the moment because I thought that would be a quick way of just testing the audio output on it because I'm not actually in the hi-fi room at the moment. Let's plug those in. There we go. Okay, lovely. Okay, now, now here's a cassette that, these are back, oh goodness me, these are back in the days when I used to type everything out. Oh, who's got time for that now? But anyway, good old cassettes. Uh, love them. Uh, eject. Put it in. Okay, are we ready? Will it work after goodness knows how long? Play? Ah! Mm -hmm. You probably can't tell at home, but Dolby has kicked in and this was recorded with Dolby, so it's um, sounding quite good actually. Now this is also a high formulation TDK tape, so I'll turn the tape selector over to the right setting. Hmm. Now it doesn't sound real good. Nothing unusual. And the bias isn't set up properly. It's coming out there. Nice. It's a very mechanical machine, of course. It's very cheap and nasty, I guess, but... Um, the auto reverse is used simply by 
no solenoids or anything. It's quite quite simple, in fact. Um, you can look in there like that. All it simply does, get the right button. Here. All it does is um, change the capstan from one side to the other. Just click, click. Doesn't show up very well, but anyway, I'll just demonstrate it very quickly. Put it back in. Hit the play button. Hit the direction button. And back again. The lights are working, that's something. Look at that. There you go. Yes, yeah, typical low end machine, it's um, spooling rather slowly. Reverse, yeah, it's working too. And of course it has the um, can loop it around so it's continuous play on the end there, that little button just there. Anyway, there you go. As if brand new, the realistic SCP-32 stereo cassette player. And uh, very shortly I hope to put a couple more videos up, a bit more interesting than that, but I thought for my first one I'd just give it a go and see if it all comes out on YouTube and does all the right things, and um, hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.